bugs. Welcome back to Fat and Tactical, everyone. I'm your host, Sean, and we are here today with Ballistic Scarf. So, I seen this on Amazon, and I had to buy it because it looked like a Wish ad. So, Ballistic Scarf. It says, the ballistic scarf is heat proof, slash proof, and super strong. We'll see about that. It also says, we even layered up one scarf. It doesn't say how many layers, it just says they layered up one scarf. And that stopped at 22 caliber. So that's what we're here to test today. But it says, seriously, don't try that. But we're going to test it anyway, because why not, right? Right. So, we're going to see how slash resistant this is and we'll even see if it's stab proof i got a target right here that i'm going to put this on and then we'll go wah, 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 and see if it's slash proof all right all right so testing slash proofness wah, with this this is an sog field knife pretty sharp so Slash proof. I don't think it's slash proof. <sighs> Bugs. All right. So. Slash proof. Maybe it's good for one slash, but see how terror resistant it is. I don't know about this. So if it's, <clears throat> if it's not slash proof, I highly doubt it's gonna be stab proof. So, hmm, well, stopped it for the most part. I got it. So that's that slash proof. I mean, but when I had it on something slashed it, it cuts right through it. So, what, is that because it's doubled up maybe? No. So, if there's not a lot of resistance behind it, it's just gives way and it doesn't slash so um i'm gonna say that's a fail because we stabbed through it right there i slashed through it there i slashed and ripped through it there so let's see about the 22 we'll get it folded up and then we'll uh go from there it decided to be a warm one today so for now, we have 22 and 45 ACP. So we're gonna fold this up as small as we can get it to give it the best chance, the best fighting chance it can have to stop a 22. Because like I said, it didn't say how many times they folded it. They just said they folded it and that's what stopped a bullet so where'd my clip go there it is so hopefully i can get this on there and then we're going to be taking this point blank just because all right first up we got the caltech p17 you all know the drill drill um first shot we're going to take with it is some snake shot so here we go all right, so right here. Oh. 
can I see? Alrighty, so we did stop it. And that was just a snake shot. And it didn't even break through the first layer. So, but it did seem to melt a bunch of a bunch of it together. Supposedly this is supposed to be made out of Kevlar, so I don't know how truthful that is. Because it says it's made is the same stuff they use in bulletproof vests. So, so that was shot number one. <clears throat> Our second round is a high velocity round, so we're gonna give that a shot. Put it right there, maybe. Oh, it didn't eject. There we go. Now it's a golden bullet. I don't think that stopped it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We are unsafe. Our hit was right there. And we blew right up the back right here. So now, let's get you back up here real quick. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Um, since that one went through, I'm uh, kind of regretting getting this. Because I originally thought about getting this and if it would stop something uh, that use it for spalling around body armor. We'll see how this goes. Now since we already shot the snake shot and it stopped that on the first layer, I almost wonder if it would stop spalling or fragmentation, whichever you want to call it. So. We're going to try the high velocity stuff and we'll, we'll come back a little bit. Alrighty, we're all clear. Our hit was right here. Came through, came through. Yeah. Right there. I also had the thought if it was able to stop 22, that's a small bullet. It's not going super fast, but it's going fast enough. <clears throat> what if we tried something like the Lord's caliber, 45 ACP out of the 1911? Rattle, rattle, rattle. Should have been my rattle when I was a baby. So I'm gonna back up just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more of a fighting chance and uh, see if we can stop a 45. I highly doubt it because it's a, it is a big old bullet, but it's 230 grain, so it's moving slow. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and we'll take a shot. Hopefully I hit it. Alrighty, here we go. I'm gonna say no. That it didn't hit it or stop it. Because you see the giant, giant hole. So. Yeah, it just blew everything all apart. Our scarf now looks like Swiss cheese. Actually, it looks kind of cool like that. So. It doesn't do what it says it's supposed to do. I give this product zero stars. Because it's not slash proof. Maybe it's slash proof if we fold it up. Didn't think about that. It's slash proof. Slash proof and stab proof if you have it layered up. What were we at? Four, six, seven, folded eight times, so that gives us 16 layers. 
and it makes it slash proof and stab proof and while we're here it also says it's uh what's it say it says I don't know, I've seen something on here that uh, said that it was fireproof. So, I have a lighter. And there's some threads right there, so. Well, it's not burning, so. Still just feels like a regular t-shirt material. <clears throat> I really don't think it's any type of Kevlar or anything that they claim it to be. So, Tacticature Ballistic Scarf. So, well, this is going to be a short video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more testing of claimed stuff. And we will see you on the next one. Choo-choo.